All right, Shalom, all praises, honor, and glory. It goes to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rikar Kwedash. Double honors to the apostles, double honors to the elders of Grey Millstone. Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, break a thumb to the hopeful elect. Shalom, Shalom. In today's video, I'm going to do a lesson going into faith in Yahweh Shai. This is uh, inspired off, as you can see, Apostle Street Ministry 10-8-2022, man. And anytime I do a, a do a lesson of what the apostles do, I'm always gonna say, man, brothers, we should at least try to watch an hour of you know of their camp. I know, you know, we got so many things going on in our lives, but we still gotta dedicate time to really listen to what the men of the Lord have to say. You know, even though we do our own lessons and things like that, but it's always good to hear from the top, man. So I was watching the apostles last night and um, they had made this statement about faith through confession of Yahweh, which, you know, inspired me to look up the precept. Apostle Gabar quoted, you know, eventually, you know, as you you can see now, I'm doing a lesson on it. So let me go ahead and play. It's a statement like that. You got the verse two? Five. Five. All right, just Acts 17 and 5. Anyway, that's what the book, that's why the Apostle Paul had uh, em emphasis. He told, he told them, they, basically right. they were saying, they were saying that, look, you, your parents haven't taught you, you haven't been circumcised, you haven't been the laws, now you want to come and you can't, you can't come in. Right? Mm -hmm. So Paul explained to them, no. Right. Although you be afar off, you're yep. nine, nine to them. Yeah. Now, Vocab alone says it's talking about the other nations. They ain't talking about the Ephesians are not talking about other nations. No, sir. The Ephesians are talking about two groups of Israelites. That's it. Right. Man, talking about the Israelites. They knew that they were Israelites, but they had to they had to receive the house shot. Right. They're just talking about the Israelites that didn't even know that they were Israelites, like Cornelius. Right. And they had to realize, number one, that they're the Israelites, and number two, that that the, the Savior is Yahweh Shai. Right, because yep. they had they couldn't. The Jews didn't want that to be done. That's no. also in Acts uh, thirteen and forty. Yeah, yeah, because because the Israelite foreigners they couldn't come in through the law because they were lost. So they had to come in through Yahweh Shai through that's their faith. faith. That's why the Apostle Paul said confession is made unto what salvation. salvation. Yep. So back then, if you believed in Yahweh Shai, really believed in Him, you you were sealed. Because it begins with believing in Yahweh Shai, not not giving all the. Uh, What's the word I'm looking for? Not giving all the praise to the law. Right. Giving the praise to Yahweh Bar Shem Yahweh Shai. Especially Yahweh Shai. Because that's the man the Father Yahweh set up to be the salvation of our nation. Yahweh Shai. Not the law. You see? Because if it was up to niggas in the ancient world, man, they wouldn't have any of the so-called Gentiles, which are really Israelite foreigners, come into the mix. If it was really up to them, they would just leave it at, you know judah benjamin and levi but what they didn't understand is that all 12 tribes were scattered and all 12 tribes had to have a way to come back into the fold and that is through yahweh shai as the uh, apostles were explaining but you know when the apostle uh gabar mentioned that uh confession is made unto salvation you know i looked it up where he was quoting and it was in romans 10 it is uh romans well let's just start at one and we can get to it this is Romans 10 verses 1. It says, My brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to the Most High for Israel is that they might be saved. Speaking all Israel, not just the Jakes living in Jerusalem at the time. It says, For I bear them record that they have a zeal of the Most High, but not according to knowledge. For they being ignorant of the Most High's righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness have not submitted to themselves unto the righteousness of the most high right so jake they had a zeal they had certain things that they would do keeping the law just un unknowingly you see they had the will but they were ignorant of the most high's righteousness but it says for hamashiach is the end of the law for righteousness to everyone that believeth for moses described the righteousness which is of the law that the man which doeth these things shall live by them but the righteousness which of faith speaketh on this wise say not in thy heart who shall ascend into heaven that is to bring Hamashiach down 
from above. So when Yahweh Shai came and laid his life down for the children of Israel, he started a new way. That's why I say for Hamashach is the end of the law for righteousness to everyone that believes. So the beginning of true righteousness for the Israelites came from belief. It wasn't a matter of, of keeping the law, statutes, and commandments um, as, as the old Israelites in Jerusalem would say. No? Because as Apostle Tahar broke down, oh, you haven't been raised, you haven't been raised in the law. You can't come into this. They, they would rather you be a Roman. They would rather you be a Greek, man. But no, these people are Israelites. But it says, verse 6, Romans 10, verse 6. But the righteousness, which is of faith, speaking on this wise, say not in thy heart, who shall ascend into heaven? That is to bring Hamashiach down from above. Or who shall descend into deep? That is to bring up Hamashiach again from the dead. But what saith it? The word is nigh thee, even in thy mouth and in thy heart. That is the word of faith which we preach. You see, that's more important than than keeping the uh keeping the law, statutes, and commandments is faith in Yahweh Shai, man. Now, obviously, we show our faith by the way that we execute the law to the best of our ability, but faith is the most important, man. It says that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth that the Lord Yahweh Shai and shall believe in the heart that the most high had raised him from the dead thou shalt be saved so yeah you have to confess that you believed in Yahweh shot and with that belief and with that faith that's when you begin to walk in the righteous path as apostle paul is saying it say for with the heart man believeth unto righteousness and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation you see with the mouth confession is made unto salvation and that's the same thing with us, Lord willing. We we be the we be those men. We were uh we we weren't born knowing we are Israelites, a majority of us. We weren't born with this knowledge. So as the apostle Tahar said, you say one, you gotta know you're Israelite, and two, you gotta believe that Yahweh Shah came, came and uh salvation is able to be made through him. And hey, we did those those two things, Lord willing, we be the elect. Romans 10, verse 10, for the heart believe. For with the heart man believing unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. For the scripture saith, Whosoever believe on him shall not be ashamed. For there is no difference between the Jew and the Greek. For the same Lord over all is rich unto all that call upon him. But you see, this word vocab can't can't trip you up because when you read in verse one, it says my brethren desire and prayer to the most high for israel is that they might be saved man so when it speaks of jew nor greek it's not speaking of members of a, a heathen nation this is speaking of the israelites that were in gentile state of mind man so that's why paul was making that statement there's no difference between jew and greek because hey you're both israelites you both believe on yahweh Shai, and you're both looking to get that salvation uh, verse 12 again for there is no difference between Jew and the Greek for the same Lord over all is rich unto all that call upon him for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved how then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed right that's 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 gonna be uh them them niggas in the ancient world who didn't believe in Yahweh Shah and that's gonna be niggas now man how are you going to call on Yahweh Shai and you don't believe in him because you believe in the law so much? How shall they call on him in whom they have not believed and how they shall believe on him in whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? You see, but that's why Apostle Paul was going out there and being the preacher so they can hear. And once they heard, they were believed. So once they believed, they will call upon Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, man. Paul had that duty of, of waking the people up to the fact that they were Israelites and, and, and inspiring the belief in Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, man. You know, with that, hey, Lord willing, this edifying, you know, even when you watch an hour of the apostles, you could take a two minute clip and make a lesson out of it, man. It's, it's, it's endless. It's living waters, man. 
But with that, Lord willing, is edifying. Once again, all praises, honor, and glory goes Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem, Rakak Wadash, double honor to the apostles, double honor to the elders of Great Millstone, Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, Brakatham, Shalom, Shalom.